the funny character camped along the path with Stan, a famous traveling salesman. He can be found all over Blossom Kingdom. Yeah, I wandered into that guy. I bet he's collected some real neat things to sell. Ah, for a second I thought maybe the kids would get to decide what he had for <laughs> sale. And I was like, oh man, here's a chance to break the story wide open. Right. Hi, I'm Stan, the traveling salesman. Girl, let me tell you how lucky it is that you ran into me today. Believe me when I say I've got what you need. You don't fool me with that cute face and pretty dress. I see a fire in your eyes. You've got a quest and will do anything to complete it, right? It'd be quite a shame if you bit the big one and let everyone down. You know, bought the farm. Maybe, f come, maybe become food for these ferocious fungi out there. That's why I'm offering you a precious heart piece. Of course, it's tough out here for me too, so I can't just give it away. How about a hundred gold coins? Believe me, you won't find a better deal. Yeah, actually, that sounds pretty good. I was going to say, the in-town shopkeeper charged like 250 for one of those. Hi again. Thank you for your purchase. Come back later when I have something new to sell. All right. Well, that was a fruitful wander. Let's go wander some more. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I thought you were just going to find a room full of ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> You do almost have enough RC Colas, though, for whatever that bar on the left is. Yeah, I've got no idea. I'm assuming that's just the maximum amount you can carry. Probably. But I'm assuming somebody really wants some RC Colas. Someone's really thirsty for a reasonably priced beverage in a nondescript blue can. <laughs> What's down here? There's gonna be a village around here somewhere, right? I mean, maybe this was the village. <laughs> Ooh. And I did mention something about warriors sinking into the swamp or possibly necromancers. Well, we're back at the wishing well. How much money do you have? Not enough. Nothing here seems to really drop a lot of money either, I'm noticing. Butterflies can have single gold coins, but ghosts? Nah, that wouldn't make sense. Yeah. Gotta preserve that sense of realism. But, I mean, at least they have an item they drop. The, uh... Like, Octorok looking things. I don't think they've dropped a single anything. Well, they're usually over deep water. But even the ones that you've killed over, uh, shallow water, because they do... come in close. But maybe that's why they don't drop anything, is, is the developers didn't want to taunt us with all the stuff that they keep dropping, but out in deep water. Oh, uh, probably. Because I'm strangely okay with them not dropping anything, but if you really needed a piece of heart and you saw one plunge into the depths, you'd, you'd grow to resent it, I think. Just didn't want to mess with all that. Nah. Okay, and there's Boiling Cavern Town. Huh, maybe this is all the wondering. Maybe. It says that it logs all the dialogue. That is a lot of dialogue, though. It's true. It would be nice if you could organize it a bit, I guess. Okay, we have to cross the gasping Martians, probably into the boiling caverns. That would make sense. The stench of sulfur welcomed the young knight as she'd stepped inside the boiling caverns. Lava surged the floor. Beneath the floor, and living flames danced in the great hall. Oh boy. This is exciting. How much you want to bet I can solve it with the app? <laughs> solve all the problems with the slam.
It is a very u useful move. Like, Link's got nothing on that. It's true. I mean, 3D Link had some pretty cool moves with, like, Z-targeting and stuff, but... Being able to just one-shot a lot of these monsters by jumping on them with your sword is... Definitely a novel approach. It's little, like, winged imps. Oh, those guys aren't nearly as durable as the uh, the rock golems. No, they are not. I guess that is pretty classic fire work. They probably do more damage, though. Oh. That's neat. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this isn't good. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, but you did just... You were, like, one step behind it at all times. <laughs> Alright. I like this dungeon design though, it's very neat. And it seems very appropriate for a like a fire dungeon. Ouch. Well at least you got lots of potions and stuff before coming. True. A lot of damage, though. Mm-hmm. Oh, this looks fine. It's fine. It's fine. I mean, they look to be enjoying themselves. Look at them. They're just like, yeah! Not a bad idea to clear them out a bit, yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's going the wrong way. That just means you have to stop part way through and wait on a safe spot, yeah. Can you jump down? Yep. But unfortunately you couldn't shoot from up there, so... Alright, and over here is... Oh. Yeah, no, loving this. <laughs> I wonder if the invincibility potion covers the kind of environmental damage that this does. Oh, that then you would could be just interesting, run yeah. Strats. At least you don't have to wait very long between cycles. True. So it won't let you run on the lava. Oh. That's nuts. I mean, you have a traverse any terrain amulet. I guess it just doesn't count as terrain, but still. Aha! A key! That's important. Dungeon door right there that probably 
Yeah, but I wanna I wanna go up here first. Oh, see if you can make it through. Still no, huh? remaining. Yeah. Cause those two each had one. Uh but there's a third color you need Oh, I up. see. Yeah, it's through uh, the locked door. I was hoping hitting this one would would also count for that. Yeah. That makes sense. Oh, I guess it wasn't technically in the same room as the other one. Whoops. <laughs> At least you can fix it easily enough. At least the bad guys can't trigger those. That would be a pain. Oh man, that would be so bad. Oh, I see. Okay. It's one of them fill in puzzles. Or not? Oh. Hmm. I'm confused. I gotta cover up all of the brown spots oh. with blocks. Okay. And not touch any of the, the red Not touch squares. any of the walls. On the plus side, it's a good way to reset a puzzle if you uh, mess up. Yeah. Okay, that's neat. I do like how the platforms uh, get brighter as they get towards the center where it's clearly hotter. Yeah. And then when it gets towards the sides there, wow. everything gets a little darker. That's clever. It's a fun piece of design. Ah, you're going to need to get across to do the, yeah. the other color. Have you tried one of the invincibility potions just to see if it works? I mean, not on purpose. All right, success. I feel like you're making through this dungeon at a pretty good clip. Hello. To... Oh. Not gonna try to block that with my shield. Yeah. Well, I was gonna say, I feel like we're moving at a pretty good clip in this dungeon. <laughs> no, so far so good, definitely. Blazing through the fire dungeon. Nope, that hurts.
I was curious if we could move them once they were locked into place. I'm glad the answer is yes. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't know if I could solve this puzzle. Uh, messed it up. Okay. Oh, yeah, you gotta get that bottom left one first, huh? Oh. Glad that doesn't cost health to try. Yeah. Death by puzzle would be... Embarrassing. An ignominious way to go. puzzles ought to give you resurre resurrection flowers when you beat them since they use the same flower motif you know? oh yeah I see that they use the same flower tile for everything so it's like that should be on purpose or should feel like it's on purpose I guess by a hitbox because you had it I mean you were on the last block yeah I'm so sorry Lily faced was harder than even my hardest Sudoku's. <laughs> but Lily is brave. She does her Sudoku's in pen. Okay, more lava puzzle fun. Although, I suppose it's not so much a puzzle as regular platforming. Wait a minute. Oh, there you go. Ouch! You jerk. Stop it! I didn't know those guys did that. <laughs> You've usually just sort of, like, one and done to them with a slam attack. But they've neutralized your most powerful move with these platforms. Okay, so... Worst comes to worst, I can just wander across the lava. Meaning that those potions probably would work to get you across without, uh... Yeah. Incident. No. Ah, come on. I'm impatient. Damage boosting through. Hey, look, skeletons. Neat. I like their little bone, uh, boomerangs. Yeah, bone meringue. They were kind of similar to the zombies, but, like, not so similar that, uh, they didn't feel like their own thing. Dow! <laughs> Sneak up behind me. That'll solve that problem, I guess. <laughs> yeah. That worked out in the end. I like their little wiggle when they get out.
Yeah, they kind of shimmy a little bit when they have to climb out. <laughs> you gotta Tons get those hip bones out, yeah. And run. I'm not gonna lie, the first couple times that we saw the rooms with the, like, lasers, I did not immediately recognize that it was a dragon's head. Oh, yeah. But, uh, those ones, from that angle, were super clear, which is cool. Oh, this is more involved than normal. Oh, yeah. Getting defeated by the hitbox monster. <laughs> I mean, I guess we knew we were probably going to see this type of puzzle again, but... Didn't know that it was going to be, uh... Quite as big a puzzle. Ooh. I feel like that bit at the end there probably uh, sent a lot of people back. Aha! Nice job. Don't forget to hit the, the teleport pad so you can get back here. Oh, this is boss room. <laughs> dares enter my sacred tomb a knight of the rose on a quest for the king in life i was the high mage of the kingdom but that was long ago draw your sword i wish to see how today's knights compare to the heroes of ages past it's like tim the enchanter Oh, wow. That's a pretty decent Don Maku. Yeah. I mean, he's not quite cute enough to be a Toho, but, you know. He's not messing around, though. No, he isn't. And you know what's funny is, I almost guarantee this guy's a mid-boss. <clears throat> and the reason I say that is because everything's been themed around this big dragon head motif. And I was about to say something about that, you know, because the laser things are dragon heads. I feel like there's going to be a dragon in the bottom of this dungeon. Okay, but how do I damage the guy? Have you not been damaging him? Oh, he's just too much fire. Invincibility potion? Or a health potion and an invincibility potion, now that you're down to one heart? Those, those fall away. Interesting that the middle ones don't, but... You got him with that one, definitely. I saw... I saw him flash when you, uh, smash attack. Yeah. joke. <laughs> I do feel like he's getting angrier. 
Like, and he's definitely glowing a lot more. So. Uh -huh. Yeah. I was going to say, all of my Nintendo game knowledge suggests that you were getting close. Got him. Inside the chest, Lily found a blue boomerang. This mighty weapon can hit multiple enemies in a single toss. Sweet. Yeah. But yeah, looks like your mid boss hunters are right. I wonder if Snapdragon is something you literally have to snap off of a dragon. Okay, so it goes through. I was about to say, I think we just saw it's the most powerful feature, which is that it goes through uh, solid objects so that you can hit buttons on the other side of things. I'm glad it didn't count as hitting him again on the backswing. That would be right. annoying. Oh, I see. Okay. That's cool. That's actually really clever. You know... I'm sad that the the powerful mage that we just met didn't have anything to say after you totally kicked his butt. Right? Like, I feel like you should have been commended at least a little bit for that. Alright, well, next time on Endless Mode, we're gonna solve this puzzle and continue on. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.